murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Was it you, you cheap, edgy knockoff? <laughs> you literally carry Chaos? around a gun. How about you? <gasps> oh, love interest gone mad. No, never. You have a hammer for Pete's sake. Have you finally lost your marbles, now woman? You're gonna get it. Or was it you, Tails? What? I've always hated you. You've always been second fiddle to Sonic. No! Unlike Luigi, you didn't get a year dedicated to hey. you! Player 2 status for life, baby! So, what do you have to say, Miles, Tails, Prower? <laughs> hey, it's Bezo, and I love murder. Let me rephrase that. Who Murdered Sonic the Hedgehog is a point-and-click visual novel revolving around Sonic and his friends celebrating Amy's birthday with the murder mystery party. However, shenanigans happens and someone ends up dead! Sonic! Eh, it happens. Now, you must be wondering, when the hell did this game come out? And why was I not aware of it? I'm the number one fan of Sonic Gets Murdered Club! Why was I not invited? I'm a big-time player in that one! That explains it. No one has talked about this puppy for a good reason. It was a silent drop with zero buildup. The day before people try to be funny by making jokes and laughing it up, pretending they're a riot. Screw you, Dave. The flower that sprays water isn't funny. It just makes me wet and sad, damn it. Can you blame anyone for not believing you when you say Sonic was murdered in an official Sega game? It sounds ridiculous, but it's pretty funny if you think about it. Funny enough, this game was actually released completely for free on Steam. <sighs> I don't know about you, but that just sent a shiver down my spine. I got arthritis back there, that's not good for an old timer like me. I'm a mature Sonic fan, and I've been around the ringer, damn it! I know a thing or two about Sonic games, and this is a good one. Now, the cast for this game are well pre-established characters that are known in Sonic franchise that are loved by the fans. We got the classic setup. The Tails. Knuckles, Amy, Shadow, Rouge, the Alligator, the, the Ninja, the Cat from the Future, a and you, yeah that's right, you, you end up being part of the story, getting to name a character, going through life, just trying to get a job and make some money, relatable, I'm also broke and would like money, the gameplay is divided into two halves, we got the visual novel aspect, which is all about reading dialogue, answering questions, and clicking on items to investigate them. Also, before you say it, I know, people don't like reading. I get it, books hurt me much more than they hurt you. I mean, look at this, what are you supposed to do with this thing? Look, visual novels aren't for everyone, and it's not an easy recommendation. For me personally to like a visual novel, it has to have something more than just reading, because man, do I get bored. It needs to have some sort of gimmick to break up the massive, boring nature that is reading. Thankfully, this does. During your investigation of a potential culprit, you put on your thinking cap and enter a minigame where you have to collect rings while dodging obstacles as a way to catch them in their lies. What I really love about this segment is the fact that they added an overlay of the game gear, which is such a nice nod to their past, but it's also just so silly all at the same time. And yes, I do have one, so I can relate to this silliness. I like to imagine that the people in this world love Sonic so much that he's basically a celebrity. So much so, they make games about him. You're sitting there, playing the game while you're on the job. Your excuse is it helps you focus. Everyone else is just staring at you, thinking, uh, is this part of the experience? Now, these segments are surprisingly super fun, and provided that much needed break that I was talking about, also gave a bit of a challenge too, which I was really surprised about. Each one ended up changing the formula just by a little bit, but still just uh, made it so much more unique every single time. By the end of the game, the last one, I gotta say, it was actually challenging. It took me several attempts. Now, what really impresses me about this game is the art and the character writing. All the characters feel so natural, and they all bring their sense of comedy to the overall experience, bringing this very good and flowy rhythm to it all. It's hard for me to put my exact fingers on what makes the writing in this game feel so right, but it just feels perfect. It feels like something I've been like missing the longest time from a Sonic game. 
all the characters act the way they're supposed to, and we actually end up seeing a different side to them. Because it's Amy's birthday! They all want to help make it a day to remember for the birthday girl, and it's really touching a lot of the times. It ends up becoming a very heartwarming experience, seeing how much they care and want to make it so special for her. Aww. Now, don't get me wrong, they're all still guilty as all hell to prove an innocent, damn it! They aren't your friends anymore, they're potential criminals in disguises! They're all rotten apples, waiting to strike again! How can you trust any of them? They all look so suspicious! I'm looking at you, Tails! Now all I gotta say is please play Who Murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a really fun one that has a lot of charm to it. It gave the Sonic franchise a much needed change of pace which also provided some truly quality moments for the Blue Hedgehog and the supporting cast. This game was developed by Sega's social team and published by Sega, so it was all made in-house baby and man did it come out fan freaking tastic. If you're looking for something to break up the same old Sonic experience, this is it. <sighs> However, at the end of the day, I only have one gripe with this game. Where the f*** is Big the Cat?